All right, so next step, um, I like to go from the lights and then really get the dark darks in there. So I'm going to go to the opposite end um, of the drawing scale and I want to go to um, get the really super darks in. So I'm going to have a really high contrast image once I do that. So I'm just going to start here at the dark part of my hair. It's very dark uh, because it's all in shadow. And I'm just trying to figure out what is the shape of it and just see if I have a dark shape. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to work with the biggest ones first, your largest um, dark shapes, and then work smaller, work big to small. Sometimes that's a really nice strategy. And for hair too, I like to make my lines kind of like going in the direction that hair would naturally go. Um, if I go back and forth this way, I don't think it's going to look as natural. So that's why I'm kind of sort of going with the flow of the hair here. All right. And then down here, I've got this weird shape here that kind of goes with the outline of my hair and I'm not being real accurate and precise because hair is so radically unpredictable anyway. Alright, now this is all pretty dark going up the side of my face here until it gets to about here. And now I'm just going to come back and look at that shape. sweater over here looks kind of dark. So just put all that dark in there. Okay, you always have the option to blend or not blend. Um, it's totally up to you if you like that smoother effect. Um, you can definitely go ahead and uh, blend it if you like. Um, it's up to you what you like, if you like the texture, if you like it smooth. Um, I think it's always fun to have kind of like a little combination of both, personally. Um, you do have to be aware though, when you do start blending stuff out, um, it does push things around and sometimes goes in places where you don't really want it to go. Alright, now I'm going to just start tackling um, the face. Um, and here's what I have to figure out. What are the shapes? Where are they? Um, and what value are they? So I'm just going to go ahead and start right kind of over here in my drawing. So this is that weird, goofy face. And that's why a strong lighting portrait um, is really fun because it makes you think about other things besides, oh my gosh, I'm drawing his face. Johnny knows I can't do that. I have to really think hard because this doesn't look like a normal face. These are weird um, shapes because of um, the lighting that's being cast um, on the face. on shapes and
Okay, so just by making those final adjustments, moving things around, um, you can see that you get a fairly decent result um, left in the strong.